Alright, hello guys. Today I'm going to be going over some of our snow chances we have going forward. Things look to get a little bit snowier here for this last portion of February. Things could get really active here for the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast. Uh, I don't think that too many areas will see anything too crazy, but I think that we could get a little bit more consistent with these snowstorms that we have been having. Uh, so I'm going to go over what right now the models are showing, and we can talk about the multiple chances. Now, when you do watch this video, keep in mind that the placement of these storms could be very different from what this is showing, but we are quite confident that there will be st storms during these timestamps. I have six storms right now that I'm going to show you today. Probably four or five of them will actually happen. Uh, that's just how this goes usually. Uh, obviously, the more like ones that are happening sooner are more likely to happen than the ones later on. Keep that in mind. Anyway, we're going to start off with this little bit of a clipper system here that's going to hit the New England area, interior New England. A lot of those areas that have already been getting snow this winter are going to get more of it in 48 hours. This is kind of Friday. It's going to be hitting uh, mixed showers throughout Pennsylvania, New York. Uh, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, going to be kind of messy. We will have a forecast out on that, of course, probably tomorrow. Uh, we're going to move on to our next storm. This is our second storm, and this one could affect the Northern Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, D.C., Baltimore, S Southern New Jersey, Southern Pennsylvania. You guys could really get involved with this one. This one could drop, you know, four to six inches of snow. I'm, I'm, this one's been on my radar for a little bit now, uh, and we, we have 72 hours out, so we're pretty close here. Uh, so for Northern Virginia, this one looks like a good chance here. It's a pretty moderate snowstorm here, so we're going to keep a very close eye on that one. Uh, here Monday, you can see that we have a third storm, and it looks like it's going to be kind of a, a, a offshore, maybe Miller B Nor'easter type storm, possibly. Uh, but it looks to go quite far out to sea. Now this one, if the placement goes a little bit further north, this one could be quite a nice storm uh, for, the, for the northeastern United States. But notice Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Boston, uh, you're all all snow. So a lot of you guys could start making up for some of the snow that you haven't been getting the rest of the winter uh, with some of these storms. Now we're going to move on to one more. Uh, and you can see this is kind of a similar storm, a little bit weaker here this time around, but you can see snow in similar areas up there. New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, southern New Hampshire, southern Vermont, those areas all getting snow from this one. And this one, uh, I know it's all rain up here on the east coast, but you can see if this one just goes a little bit further north and rides up the coast, this one goes out to sea on this run. But if this one goes up the coast, we could be looking at a snowstorm for a lot of those areas, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine. New York, so I wanted to put that one in there, uh, and also this is getting kind of long range now, so this is really you know possible that this doesn't happen at all. Uh, but we have kind of this clipper system here, or maybe a merged system here. Uh, this is quite similar to the system that we had this these last few days. This would this is what this would be like: New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine. All of you guys getting snow from this one possibly. Uh, and then this is like super long range, uh, but I just wanted to point out that they are having snowstorms still showing up in the long range. So this means that things could stay snowy for quite a while. Now I wanted to put a lot of those timestamps out there just to, not necessarily to tell you the exact time, like, oh look, Thursday, February 28th and, in, in, you know, two, over two weeks from now, uh, it looks like there could be a snowstorm. That's not that important. What's important is that they are showing snowstorms at some point in the long range uh, quite consistently. So that's what you should take away from this. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.